Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll be coding how to make your own calculator using the LabVIEW. Previously, in the first video, we developed the user interface of an application. In this video, first of all, we'll insert an event structure which will be uh, allocated uh, with respective buttons. For example, in this case, in a single event, I'm creating multiple events for multiple buttons. For in this case, uh, we have the uh, numeric buttons from 0 to 9. Uh, they will all exist in the same event so that whenever I press them, I would be able to uh, create the string depending upon the values has been pressed, just like in the physical calculator. Now the next, uh, what we'll do is we'll create uh, two variables because uh, to perform any calculation will require the two variables. I uh, will initialize both the variables into the default values, so it will contain no values whatsoever. Uh, next, what we'll do is uh, we'll label the top one as a variable b. And then the bottom to be variable A. Now the next step is to use the property node, uh, boolean property node, which will provide us the labels. So now what we'll do is we'll create the enum uh, which will provide us which function to perform. Initially, when we haven't pressed any of the functional buttons, it has to be no function and uh, for the other respective cases they will be add subtract multiply and divide so now we'll put that value into the sieve register as well so initially the value will be no function so when the no in the no function case we'll select the variable a and whenever we'll press any of the function we'll be selecting the variable b so first of all as we connect into the case selector uh, in the no function case we'll be concatenating the values whichever we have pressed and then store the value into the variable b variable a Uh, next, for the other cases, whenever we have selected the uh, add, subtract, multiply, or the uh, divide functions, uh, we will be selecting the variable b. So, repeat the same process, just like the last time. So in this case, we are selecting the value for the variable b. And next, uh, we have to uh, retain the value of the variable a. We cannot lose it because we'll be doing the operation with a and b. Now we have configured the code for the variable a and variable b. Uh, next, whatever we are going to do is, whenever we are selecting the configuring the value for the variable A, we will be displaying the value from the variable A and respectively for the variable B as well. Next, in the A add state, uh, what we'll do is, in the beginning, just to test, we will be creating uh, the event for the result. Result is the one that will be providing of the solution for the calculation. So in this case, we have uh, since in the add event case, we have selected uh, the sieve ratio of, of the enum value into the add. So now for the no function, we don't have to do anything. 
we can just connect the wire through and display the value of A. And now for the add, we will be doing the mathematical calculation. In this case, we'll be adding the values of the variable A and B. Since we cannot do the calculation on the string, we have to convert them into the decimal value in this case. So connect that. Similarly, we'll be converting the variable B as well. And add the value. And now to display, we need to convert that into the string as well. Now we are going to display the result over there. Now we can test it 12 plus 8 equals 20. So Edison is working perfectly fine. Now what we'll do is we are going to add other event states as well for other operations. So what we'll do is we'll do add subtract, multiply, and then divide in the same uh, event state, event case. So now what we'll do is, rather than doing that, uh, similarly in the previous case, we'll be using the property node from the control reference and use the respective labels from there. So for example, if we have selected, uh, we have clicked the add button, we'll get uh, the label of the add button that is the add and respectively in the case we'll be selecting the enum value to add now uh, similarly repeat the process for all the other cases as well for example in this case we have got four cases uh, similarly subtraction multiplication and divide you have to make sure that the label and then the case value matches perfectly Now once we have completed, we'll go back into the result case and configure the code for the other functions as well. So for the subtract, we just replace the value, we just replace the vi. Uh, in this case, we'll be doing the subtraction. For the multiply, we'll select the multiply and for the divide, uh, since uh, division will be providing the floating point value, so we'll be using the fractional uh, rather than the decimal one in this case. Uh, similarly, we'll be using the another one uh, to avoid the data cores, and not only that, we want to be able to get the full uh, resolution of the values. Okay, once uh, this much is completed, uh, we'll change that to divide. And finally, there is one thing uh, we have to determine that we have to do the A minus B. So we are going to interchange the wiring. Now we'll be testing the values. So 12 minus 6, we get the value. Similarly, yeah, 4, okay, yeah, correct. And similarly, we're going to do for other functions as well. For example, in this case, we'll multiply, we get 12. And now we're going to divide 9, divide by 4. This is how you can build your own calculator in LabVIEW. You can also add further functionalities as you require. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos. Thank you.